Hello, it's Collector Sleuth here, and I had some Hot Topic, uh, Hot Cash, and some Box Lunch, Box Money to spend. So I bought some Nightmare Before Christmas Miss Mindy figurines um, that is made by the company Inesco. Um, first, I'm going to start with the two that I already showed a video of these, but these were the ones that were released last year, and I, I believe I got these from Hot Topic. And you can still get these. Um, they're not discontinued yet. So anyway, here's Sally, and she's got this scary teddy bow in the back, and she's holding this basket, which you can take out of her hand as well. So I showed these in a previous video, so be sure to check that out if you missed it. But I'm showing these because I bought some new ones for this year that are very similar. And I'm just going to compare those. And here's the Jack one. He's holding a pumpkin. And he's got one eye winking. And he came with this little... Now, he doesn't like to stand too well, so you have to set him just right. But here's his little zero that came with him. So I'm going to set those aside for just a second. And here's the ones that are new for this year. This one is, called, is Jack Skellington, and it's the Holiday Edition. I think they, I got this, I think I got this one from Box Lunch, the Box Lunch Money. So these retail for around like $30, but it, with the Box Lunch Money, I think I was able to get them for around $20 or, or thereabouts. And um, you can get the last year ones off eBay or other places still carry them as well for around, you can, if you play your cards right. You should be able to get them for around $20, $25 piece. These are vinyl. They're not resin. They're a plastic material similar to the pop vinyls. These are, like I said, from Inesco. Miss Mindy is the designer. So these are not Funko items. So I'm going to open Jack here. So I'm getting open. Here we go. Okay. So here's Jack. Sally, so we can see him better. So Jack here looks very, very similar to the one last year. It's hard to see in the camera, but Jack over here, his suit is actually purple. His tie is the same color, but his suit is actually a dark purple. And instead of the pumpkin, he's holding a uh, Christmas present. And his hat is also purple. Let's see if you can see that. You can kind of see it. And this one, his eyes are both open. So on the back, they look pretty much, yeah, the same. Just different colored outfit. Let's see if he stands better. Now this one stands better. For some reason, this Jack, his legs aren't quite where they needed to be. And so if he tilts this way, he falls. He, yeah, see, he just pretty much falls. But this one, pretty good. So to display my other one, and I don't think everybody will get one that has this issue. You either have to tilt him just right, or I can put a little piece of cardboard or something under here, felt, to keep him from tipping over. But anyway, there's the jacks. Got to be careful not to knock him over. This one likes to fall over. This one likes to fall over. And the holiday jack comes with this really cute uh, killer duck. I don't remember if the killer duck in the movie has a hat. As many times as I've seen it, I would think I know, but it's got the little bullet holes with um, blood dripping down. I don't know if in the movie he has a hat, but Miss Mindy likes to add, you know, cutesy hats like Jack obviously doesn't wear a hat in the movie. He's got a hat on here. So yeah, the duck, I don't recall if he wears a hat. But yeah, he's very cute. Hat or no hat, he's cute. So. Here we go. Next up, here's last year's Sally. So I'll move Jack back here. There. And here's Holiday Sally. Here in the box. So I'll take her out. So 
here is Holiday Sally. As compared to last year's Sally, she has got an eye, one eye winking. Last year's her both eyes were open, so they kind of switched them. With Jack, last year was blinking. Um, and this year his eyes are open. Sally, last year, eyes open. This year she's winking. So, um, other than that, I think her outfit is pretty much the same. The colors are a little different. The black is now purple. Like right here is a darker purple versus uh, more of a black color here. Let's see the back. In the back, she's got a purple bow versus the black bow. And she does have some holly in her hair. So if you do go to buy both sets of these, just be careful not to buy the accidentally buy the same one twice because they do look do look very much alike. If you want both. And I bought, yeah, this one I got off box lunch. And here's her little teddy. She comes with a teddy this year. Last year was a basket. Got the little teddies. So yeah, these are fairly inexpensive, about $20 or so, um, $20, $25. You can get them for if you are careful on how you purchase them and if you have any coupons and that sort of thing. Nudge Jack there so you don't fall over. And now I have some more Miss Mindy's that come in this style of a box. And these are actually resin, not plastic or um, vinyl. So these were more expensive. They retail for about $50 normally. I got these. Sally had to go to eBay to get her and had to pay, um, I think I paid $45 for her. So I had to pay a little extra for her because both Box Lunch and Hot Topic sold out of them before the box lunch money kicked in or hot cash kicked in. But Jack, I was able to get off box lunch. Um, I purchased him. I don't think I used box lunch money to purchase him. I think they had like a 30% off their website, which they do quite often. So you want, um, I think you can still get him off either Hot Topic com or boxlunch.com. I think they're owned by the same company. Uh, I think Box Lunch is actually a little bit cheaper on their price on these. Oh, well, Sally is gone unless they restocked her. And these just came out this year, so they shouldn't be super hard to get yet. Um, the Sally, for some reason, is selling out of the places I try to get her, so I wouldn't wait too long maybe on her, but Jack is still available, as far as I know. But that Box Lunch thing has been going on that the hot cash and Box Lunch money has been going on for a while now so whether or not they still have them i don't know but here is jack let me get him out of the box here so here's jack and like i said he's made out of resin he's got this really cute quirky face on this um her uh, miss mindy has very uh whimsical designs so he's got this really cute little whimsical pumpkin face on here and there's his coattails, and he's holding this little umbrella. It's very cute. And these, even though they're they're like size-wise, look a little bit smaller, not a whole lot. You know, they're just not as thick, I guess. Uh, then these, they are about twice the price. Probably because they are made out of resin. So here's that. And now for Sally. And here is Sally. She see she's very cute here. Um, tag still on. Let's take that off. tag say oh it's just a barcode so she's got a little bow on her hair cute looks like the little rough like a clown looking ruffle around her neck got some little hearts on her knees here and she's holding a lollipop sitting on deadly nightshade so 
They're very cute. And then I also picked up from Box Lunch. They sold out of zero, unfortunately. Um, so I was only able to get Jack and Sally, but they had a zero one of these. And these are just little garden statues. I don't know what company made these. I'm pretty sure it was not an Esco. The quality is more like a Walgreens quality, like the collectibles you would get at Walgreens. Only these are much smaller. So I would hardly consider them a garden statue. Well, I guess you can put them in a planter or something because they're pretty small. See, they're not much, much, you know, the same height as these, this Mindy's back there. And then, let's see, the Sally one. But for some reason, yeah, they sold out a zero. But they still had these two at boxlunch.com. I don't know if they still have them. Actually, I don't think they have them anymore. This is uh, so September 23rd, the filming of this video. So as far as I know, as of September 23rd, I don't think Box Lunch has these anymore. But here's Sally. And then one last thing I'm going to share with you is an item I picked up from a thrift store. And it's these um, Alice in Wonderland from the movie, through, uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass. It's a set of four ceramic plates. These originally came from the Disney store, and I picked these up at a thrift store. I'll show those to you. So on the top, the first plate out is the White Rabbit. And then they have these all these little dividers here. And then we have Alice. The Red Queen. Or Queen of Hearts, or whatever they call her. And last one is the Cheshire Cat. So um, these could be, you know, put on plates plate stands and displayed in a collection but they are really cute on the back it does have the Disney store on there well guys that concludes this video I hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and go ahead and feel free to comment on which items you liked the best I'm really liking Jack with his umbrella I think he's really cute but I love the Sally as well and I, I do really like the Miss Mindy's. I think they're interesting, whimsical, very cute, well made. And uh, these little garden statues are really cute too. But a little lesser quality as you can see. These are also resin. And as compared to these, you can kind of see the quality difference there. But very cute. And so um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe.